tools. Um, see at the top I have my Miku bunny, I have this uh, price figure Miku, I have some BT21 plushies that I got for my birthday, and this humongous plushie that my brother got for me. He won for me at a fair wearing a shaggy headband. On the walls I have this perfume poster and I absolutely love perfume. I have the Sakura Matu um, like cloth poster and I have this tapestry also of Sakura. And uh, yeah so let's get into the figures. I have this cute little Sakura plush hanging on the door. So I also have this, po you see the poster behind it, you can see if it's kind of hidden from all the figures, but she's still there. <laughs> I have this Nendoroid, uh, which I got recently, um, it's a prize figure. And then I have this uh, kimono version, I think, there's a, there's a name for it, but I, I don't know it. <laughs> um, Sakura, and I have uh, some... I have this 15th anniversary Sakura, which is she's very very beautiful, but this base is like horrendously big. Um, and just to kind of fill up the space, I have like these this acrylic stands and um, badge and some keychains there. I, I absolutely adore this acrylic stand. Wait, let me just pick it up because um, this is from uh, Fate Hollow Ataraxia and like when this scene happened i'm not lying when i say it like there was tears in my eyes because she was just so cute and so happy which is just what she deserves <laughs> and um i have this other nendoroid this is a pretty old one i think it was like it was a pretty low number i can't, I can't remember i feel like i want to say around 30 to 50 but i could just be wrong and then this um Oh wait, this is by Anplex. This is I can't remember this is by Good Smile. Obviously, is also Good Smile. Uh, this too, <laughs> and this is by a company called Clay's. I think they're a pretty old company. Um, they probably don't even exist anymore. But um, yeah, I kind of like this one, even though it's old. It's pretty old. I think it's from 2006. Um, I just think it's cute and look at the giant flipper feet that she has. And this uh, figure at the back is also by Good Smile. Uh, this was the first ever scale figure that I bought and I'm the first ever figure of Sakura that I bought. So it holds a very special place in my heart. And I always think that, um, I always say that like if I had to get everything in my collection and this, this would be the one figure that I would keep because like Hey look, she just looks like she comes straight from the visual novel, like you can see this poster here and this face, like they're pretty, they're exactly the same, it's just so cute to me, she just looks adorable when she just goes shopping and oh, I just love her. And then on the bottom shelf, I have this Aniplex, or is it Stronger? I think it's distributed by Aniplex, but it's by Stronger, this uh, Grail, Holy Grail version. Coincidentally, this was also a grail of mine, and she just looks so beautiful. I just, I'm so happy that she's in my collection. And I have this Nendoroid here, and it's a collect stand. Otherwise, just to, because I have more merch of Sakura when she's all like this, as opposed to like this. Um, when that altar figure comes out, I haven't pre-ordered it. Um, I'm literally just going to wait a couple years until she goes down in price because I, I know she will all her figures do um so that will go here when i eventually get that but for now it's just pretty pretty empty and then and this bottom shelf is the rest of my feet figures so here i have this um summer rain by alta this uh, was another one of like the first figures that I bought. Um, it's been in my collection for like three years now. Um, yeah, she's super cute. I was on the fence of like selling her, but I just I don't know. I just like her. There aren't many other Rin figures that I, I do kind of like, so yeah, I'll just keep her. 
I I don't care too much about getting the uh, matching saber with her though because like I don't really care too much to complete sets and this is this Maid Rider, this is by Good Smile this was one that I was like this was also like kind of a grail for me and it's been in my collection, oh sorry I'm shaking so much, oh my god this was another grill for me and you can also like take the skirt off but I don't display her like that as much as I like even though I really really want to because I think she she does look better um like that but I'm embarrassed because <laughs> my family come in my room a lot or my siblings come in my room a lot and I don't have to explain any of that <laughs> um, here I have this, um, here I have this Jean d'Arc, this, I think it's from Fate Extella, it's like the school uniform version, and then behind I have the saber, this is from the, the same line as the Good Smile Sakura that I have, um, this one is also very cute, like her expression looks like just from the visual novel, I kind of, I just love it. And she also has some big flipper feet. <laughs> and here I have this um, Aniplex uh, Jean Alter, another massive figure. I am th I think I should move her up, up a shelf here, just kind of like the altars together, you know. Um, but yeah, she's really cute. Um, I do think I could do it getting her on a riser though, looking at the shelf right now. This is my fate shelf and I have nothing underneath that because I'm still slowly filling this out. I got this detail pretty recently so I'm not trying to buy everything at once to fit in here. The second detail I have, this is sort of, um, I have a vision, oh, I have a vision to kind of make this my punk shelf because See, like they're kind of all punk vibes except for this which i just kind of put in there for now and i have this asahima um it's like this punk version this is what she's like it's so i love the design of like that outfit I just, it's it's one of my favorite figures i have actually she's pretty old um but she, i think she still looks good um and then here I have this nuclear fusion uh, Rin. Um, this figure was a pain to put together. It took me, like I tried to put it together and then I got mad. So I left it in the box for like two, three months. And then I was like, I realized I couldn't be bothered to sell it. So I got it back out and I, it worked. And yeah, I'm gonna start a punk band together. And then there's this Macho Miku, which I guess she could be the lead singer. <laughs> um, she's just kind of in here because I don't really know where else to put her right now. Um, yeah, I, I kind of broke. She, um, she's supposed to have. You can see she's supposed to have a little dango stick that goes in her hair, but me and a lot of other people actually broke it. We're trying to put it in, so. <laughs> Bit um bit annoying, but you know it is what it is. And then underneath is my very very small persona figure collection. Um, not trying to like oh, I'm not trying to like build this really fast or whatever. I'm hoping slowly but surely to f fill this up. Um, there are some like re-releases that I'm planning on getting. So yeah. Um, here I have this Loki version of Akechi, which is. Is he's just iconic? Like, look at him. It's one of my, one of my favorites. I'm so happy that I um, picked this up when I did because I think his aftermarket has gone up. I think, judging from what I've seen on my figure collection. Um, so yeah, I got. I'm very happy there because you know the people go, the girls go crazy if anything are catchy related. Um, next to her, next next to him, I have. This Persona 4 Rise. Uh, I can't remember who made this. But it's just a pretty nice, simple 
you say with her head as well which is kind of cool but yeah she just looks so cute and behind i have this uh dancing i can't remember dancing star night i can't remember the name um there is this makoto makoto is my favorite from persona 5 she's everything to me i kind of I kind of wish I had more Makoto figures, but they are pretty expensive, so this one, this was one of my first like big purchases because like this figure is pretty expensive, but yeah, she's one of my favourites, so I kind of thought I had two, um, but yeah, that's my Persona shelf. Underneath this shelf at the bottom, it's a kind of a random mix, um, this as the kind of, I don't know what shelf I will find places for these one day I'm sure um, so but here I have the Summer Kiana from Honkai Impact she is super cute putting her together was actually kind of fun because um, like these are magnets and I'm just like I have a very small brain that I'm entertained by magnets I guess um, but yeah, she's, uh, she has her umbrella, but I took that off because it's taken up a lot of space. Um, but yeah, I like this figure a lot. Behind her is the Ganyu from Genshin Impact. Super cute, simple figure. Um, I'm hoping to kind of make a Genshin Honkai shelf because I, I do have some more figures pre-ordered and that I plan on picking up at some point in my life. So. But it's not a huge priority, so that's fine. It's a good smile, Hanakawa from Bakemonogatari. Oh my god, I said that so like British, like Bakemonogatari. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't like saying things like with an accent. Does anyone else get that? I don't be like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, she's super cute. I got these two as like kind of a birthday gift for myself because it's my birthday recently well not really recently at the time of filming it was recently but by the time this comes up it will be long gone um but yeah she's just super cute I love her face and everything she's just adorable and behind her is this altar Hanakawa black like look at that face you can see that look so cute and then underneath is this Arknight Serta she is honestly incredible I look. I did have her on like just an open shelf, but my cat, she actually bit the sword. I'm not sure if you can see. I'll put a picture up of when it happened because it was funny, but it was it was kind of cute. I don't mind that she bite it. It was cute. Um, and but yeah, that's it. That's it for my details. So moving on to the Kallax now. Um, there's my cat in front of it. Hello. Okay. On this this one here, I have just some of my team and stuff. It's pretty dark. I need to get some lights in here, I think. Um, I have the shiny 2022 season screens at the back there which like i don't want to move it <laughs> and i have team and advice there and if i can dance again like special edition i think and superstar the team and cover and this uh one kino um which i just displayed this way because he looks really good and but kino is a kind of a waste of time and money so I just thought I'd use it as a display thing. And then next to it is my, where some of my paper albums are. Um, I have, sorry my cat is. I have these Lucky Star Tsukasa and Kagami figures. This, um, I really like it, but the base is like big and they're like pretty wobbly, so you know, it's a bit annoying how because you can't really move them. Because, like, look, 
You see that? They're like wobbling all over because they're only on one peg. Um, but yeah, anyway. And next to it is this Shion Sonazaki minifigure, which is very dusty, don't look. And she's just sitting on top of this Angel Mort coaster, which I got with this parfait glass they were doing. Um, but I sold the parfait glass and I kind of wish I kept it, but I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. I kept the coasters though, so maybe I'll use them as a display. And next to it is this K Angel figure from Need Go Overdose. This is the pop up parade. This is one of my most anticipated figures of the year, which I'm really which I was so happy about. Um, it, had this, it came with this little pre order bonus here. And then behind are some of my TXT albums. So I have uh, the main chapter Temptation. Says his child, fight or escape, blue hour, uh, dream chapter eternity, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Next to it is Twice Instagram by Twice, obviously. Um, uh, my sister got me this for Christmas one year. Um, and then next to it is Stacy Teddy Bear gift edition, which is really cool. It has like perfume inside it, which is super unique. And then this BB Low Life Princess Limited Edition, which again also super cool. And then I have Wonder Girls Why So Lonely there. This is the Yubin cover, uh, which I'm not gonna show because I think it's gonna fall down. And next to it's uh, Reboot, which is the best K pop album of all time. Um, and some Brave Girls albums, Thank You, Welcome Ride, both versions of Summer Queens. Summer Queen. I really want um uh, I really want Rolling because like I I I became a fan of Brave, Brave Girls since Rolling um, but that album's just like way too expensive to even like try getting so that's fine <laughs> I can live without it and then next to it I have Shiny Hard their newest album Atlantis and uh, Lions in Nyon and oh, Peaches by Kai and um, yeah that's pretty much everything here oh and I also have these Higurashi acrylic stands sitting on top um, there's a Keichi one that came with the Reina one um, but I don't really want to display it because like this is it's kind of the girls only zone you know <laughs> and then in the cube next to it is some of my BTS stuff so here I have the um, uh, Hope in the Box, uh, just the Jack in the Box merch. It's a um, yeah, <laughs> and I have this stand that came with the Love Yourself Tear album. I have this mini flag of gin that I got when I saw them in Wembley in 2019, and then I have this Sino Alice Alice figure. I used to really love Sino Alice, I played it like religiously, um, but it just got so boring that I kind of just deleted the app and then forgot, forgot about it, but I, I really like this figure, so I just kept that, I guess it's like memories, and plus I'm a huge Okotaro fan, so you know, and there's my Jack and Box Weavers album, the BG21 mug that I got for my birthday one year, and then here I have the BTS photo folios, I have all except... Um, Yoongi's and uh, J-Hope's um, magazines here, them on the cover that I also got for like uh, Christmas I think one year and um, yeah that's, that's, oh, that's that shelf and next to it is some of my vinyls uh, as you can see I I've revisited my emo phase a little so I've been collecting albums I listen to from then so I have a Fall Out Boy and my Chemical Romance here I also have these BTS Indigo and um, Jack in the Box finals which I really love and I hope that they release more for their solo albums like I'm, I'm really waiting on them and then underneath here where my cat is laying right in front of I have some of my BTS non-album stuff so here I have Soju which is their like fan meeting DVD I have Memories of 2018, I have uh, Seasons Good in 2021, Seasons Good in 2022, 
and the fifth, I think, army kit. And then this boy right here. And then these two, these two are just storage, which you don't need to talk about. And then here I have um, more non albums. So this is the Map of the Soul 1 photo book and the Seasons Greetings, BTS Seasons Greetings uh, 2020. Which I also got for Christmas one year, and <clears throat> and then here are some of my mini binders. Binder here has uh, BTS solo releases in there, and just basically everything from 2022 onwards, plus some other boy groups in there like Shiny and TXT. Um, and then this one is basically everything BTS have done. Um, up until proof, and then here is my girl group binder, which has uh, groups like the Seraphim in there, as well, New Jeans, some Stacy, and just some other miscellaneous ones of like other albums I bought. And on them, I have this uh, Jungkook photo card from the photo folio, and this B photo card holder. I have this Yoongi keychain and this Jungkook. Um, Love Yourself Japan keychain. That is a keychain that my friend made and I, I adore their art. Next to it is this Clifford holder which I can just... Yeah, it just has a bunch of miscellaneous things in there. And so you can just put that back. And then here is my big photo card binder which also has things these stickers on. And this houses my hassle collection. These have all fallen down, but I promise it was a nice design before. In here is the majority of my hassle and Luna collection, and um, Taman is in there as well. Um, I collect hassle pretty extensively, and it's my collection that I'm most proud of <laughs> and I put the most effort into. But if any like, if any K-pop star watching this, if anyone's interested in seeing my photo collection. Um, like, uh, let me know. I'd like to do a video on it because I, um, I like to talk about it. <laughs> but literally, if any, even just one person is interested, I would do the video just for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that. That's everything for this shelf. Up here we have my Billy, um, which has a bunch of different things on it. But on the side... <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing. Um, okay, I have this um, signed hustle. This signed page from Hustle uh, from the Flip That Era. Uh, it says signed to orbit. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to have this. And I'm, I'm glad it says to orbit instead of like someone's name. Some random person's name. So and then here I have this Indigo um, premium board that came in the vinyl. Inside, I have this Hachikuchi cliff oil. I have this post on the back way, which I'm really embarrassed about showing, so don't look. And um, this Kanbaru cliff oil. She's my favourite from Monogatari, so I love her. Up top, we have my Drake and Nier collection. I'm a huge Drake and Nier fan. It's like my favourite thing in the world ever. I love it so much despite all the physical pain it causes me. So, start from this side, I have these uh, scripts and this is like I think it's a concept art book that came in this box set um, I just kind of put them there to fill up space I have my DS here which because I don't know where else to put it um, and these are just like the two games I own I don't really own many physical games I buy them all digitally but now I'm kind of thinking like I want them physically just because I like collecting things okay I have near replicant on PS4 which came in the came in that and oh yeah i also have these keychains hanging also by Ongsi and there's Jin, the astronaut merch and yeah here is this uh dragon guard 10th anniversary um box set it has a bunch of like uh it has like art books and soundtrack in there and some other stuff i mainly got it because i i love this art box art on the cover and especially love zero she's my baby i love such a pieces 
Um, but yeah, we have like basically all the protagonists and I just think it looks really cool. Uh, there isn't much Dragon Guard merch out there and I'm like low-key hoping for a remake so this changes because I want I want merch of her so but I want to build a shrine for her because she is like she's the love of my life seriously. Um, <laughs> on up top I have some near automatic music boxes which I kind of think I should move but I haven't figured out the best place to have them. Beside it I have my near stuff or behind I have um, Utahime 5, Dragon Guard 3 manga and the steelbook that came in this and then I have Nin Android and the Kainen Android. I'm missing a meal but I'll get that at some point. And then this is the um, Near Replicant Remake uh, Collector's Edition which I'm happy to have. Which is my it's my favourite, you know? And I have A2 here and 2B. I need 9S but again I'll get that when I get that and they're just sitting on the Near Replicant Music boxes. And then underneath this is my pride and joy, my tight moon shelf, I'm very proud of. Um, if you couldn't tell I'm already, I'm, if you couldn't tell already I'm a huge tight moon fan. So yeah, let's start from this side. I have this Alice Kuanji figure from Mahoyo. Um, I got this in a couple days ago. Um, and I wanted to save it to unbox, but I got too excited. And I just want to put it on the shelf, so. Yeah, she looks like super cool. And then in front of her, I have this Alka Alzaki Nendoroid. I have the Alice. I um, I got the Alice. Um, but she won't be here for a while because I picked surface shipping. Because I, I got I grouped it with another figure, and I'm kind of regretting that right now. But I'll get it when I get it. Um, and then I have the Mahoyo, like limited, uh, thing. <laughs> switch box there um super cool and then in front i have another alco figure this is from the trading set that i unboxed a while ago and they're just sitting on this um the, this is the G mahoyo game that came in there and this is the holo ataraxia game that came in and that and there's this shikirugi figure uh also a trading figure and uh it's fate holo ataraxia the ps vita limited edition and the Face Day Night PC Physical Edition, which is a great item for me. I'm so happy to have it. Um, I kind of, I should have got the PC version of this too, just for like size sake. Um, but Sakura isn't on the front cover of that, and you know, you, it's pretty obvious I'm a huge fan of Sakura, so yeah. <laughs> but I'll pick it up at some point, maybe if it ever comes to that. And I have this is Sukihime Kohaku plushie, and Kohaku is my favourite in Sukihime, so she just looks so cute here. So, yeah, really happy with that. Um, and then I have this CL trading figure, she's just propped up on a little plate here. And next to her is this Ark, a trading figure, again, super cool. Um, and then I have this Sakura Shikishi board and this uh, Sakura postcard, which doesn't want to stay up, so she's just there. I have the Heaven's Field limited DVDs. Um, I'm gonna collect them all because I found them online for like, they weren't too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna get them all eventually. Um, and I got a Rep My Girl Sakura, as you can tell, huge fan, huge fan. And yeah, that's everything for this shelf. And then underneath, I have just a bunch of my smaller albums. These are just some CDs and some other K-pop stuff. So here I have my BTS Weavers albums. This is Indigo, Face and D-Day. Um, behind that is this basket, which has some other stuff. So this is the Butter cassette, New Jeans Weavers albums, Esper Savage there, and Antifragile Unforgiven by La Seraphim compact versions. So let's just put these back. And then... Next to it some of my CDs. These are some of that I've accumulated over the years. Um, I actually had a bigger CD collection, but I I donated them all when I was like 16. So I was like, oh no, I'm just over all of this stuff. You know, like I'm not gonna like it again. And then fast forward um, 
to now and I I'm still like the same things I did back then so I'm kicking myself a little bit it's fine so here I have this team in one kino um, and I have this Idolmaster uh, Cinderella Girl CD Mizuki's um, I can't remember, it's Mizuki's solo she was my favorite in uh, Cinderella Girls she still is I love her and Next to it, I have the uh, Draken Guard soundtracks, Draken Guard 3 and Draken Guard 1, which is kind of funny to have on soundtrack because it's so unsettling that, um, like, you play it, you're scaring the hoes, you know? <laughs> and next to it, I have this Rina Sawayama Hold the Girl signed album. My sister got it for me because I couldn't make it to the sign in. And here's just some Charlie XX Moon and Diamond Grimes. These are what I got when I was like 13. These are like the remnants of my CD collection from back then. And then just some like War Parks, Fall Out Boy, and TXT, Fire Escape, Stacey We Need Love, uh, Luna Hula Hoop. This is the Hassle cover because that's my girl. And then Luminous, and these are some S for Digi Parks, the girls, and their newest album, which for some reason I can't remember the name of. <laughs> and here is my shiny and taming album so I have one of one uh, married to the music poet artist bass by John Hume and I have taming's act never gonna dance again act two act one uh, want uh, moving move uh, press it and ace and then guarding them is this cute Jill Stingray uh, Nendoid from Valhalla She's just adorable and my favourite girl ever. So this is one of my definitely one of my favourites that I have. And then underneath that is my BTS collection. Wait, sorry, my cat wants to leave. So this is my BTS collection. Very extensive and another collection that's close to my heart. So here I have my BTS lights today. On the back it says gin and reflective tape <laughs> reflective tape because i decorated when i went to their concert in 2019 and then i have uh, all their album i basically have their entire discography i have uh too cool for school or i like two school love affair dark and wild most beautiful moment in life part one and two young forever which is this album changed my life genuinely and wings this is when i stand so all very special place in my heart and uh you never walk alone this was the first ever cable album that i bought so it holds a very special place in my heart and i have both versions of that because it's um again it was an era very special to me and i have love yourself her tear and answer um i don't collect all versions for everything because i feel like i would go broke and plus back then um i pre I've, i got like everything from here on was I, I've gotten when they came out and like just during this era I just didn't have any money because I was like 16 you know um but yeah next to it is Map the Soul Persona oh no so this is Pete Wentz photo card that she made but it's kind of embarrassing so don't look and then I have this um Rena no no I'm Rena that's Rena Rena Nendoroid from Higarashi she's super cute look at her I um, I do have kind of a little bit of like angst towards this figure because um, her hatchet that she comes with, um, my sister hoovered it up and it made me so sad that looking at her just kind of upset me because she's pretty expensive now. So I had to switch her up to this face plate which is fine, it helps me forget the pain of losing that piece. Um, and the, this is the Mop the Soul 7 The Journey, it's their Japanese album. I don't really collect their Japanese releases but uh my sister got me this for my birthday one year so i kept it obviously and here i have b both versions of butter proof and these are my astronaut albums oh in front i have this jungkook butter uh lucky draw and my astronaut albums with wuto guarding them wuto plushie and wuto figure um yeah jin is my favorite so obviously i bought this many copies because i had to um, I have Indigo, I have Face, and D-Day, and hopefully there's enough room here for the Jack in the Box 
Hope Edition and Taehyung's latest album. And yeah, that's everything. Oh, and also there's School of the First Special Edition and Map of the Soul 7 there, and Proof, um, like the big version, and B kind of hidden behind it as well. And yeah, that's everything. Oh, and also these Funko Pops. See, oh my god, they're just at the back there. My sister got me them for my birthday as well, one year. Oh no, it's Christmas. And yeah, that's, that's that show. Underneath that is my Luna collection plus some other girl groups there. So here I have, oh you can't really see. I have my S4 albums there, the Savage uh, Girls and this album, which why can't I remember the name? What is it called? My World. There we go. As for My World there, and The Seraph and Fearless, Antifragile and Unforgiven. And then here is my Luna collection. Um, I almost have the entire discography because basically what I'm doing is I'm collecting the units as opposed to like every single album, just so I have the, the CDs of all their songs. And then I'll collect like the solos for the ones that don't have a unit, like the first girl in each unit, if that makes any sense to anyone. And then I have Luna and Hassel, Hassel and Vivi, Love and Live, Kim Lip and Jin So, Jin so and Cherry, Mix and Match, Max and Match, Even Chu, Chu and Go On, Go On and Olivia Hay, Beauty and Beat Limited, Plus Plus. These are both normal. Um, XX, XX, this is the Limited, um, Hash, 12 O'Clock, and, and Flip That, this is CND. These are all first press, these these albums. This is also first press. And that's basically it because I wasn't really buying albums back then when they came out, which I should have because I could have had all the limiteds, but you know, it's what it is. And I have Hula Hoop and Luminous over there. Oh. And Here's just the bag that came with the VIP package when I saw them in concert. The light stick, um, these hassle pins that came in the Hobby Planet merch, the hassle luminous uh, jewel case cover, light stick box. Um, I have this Odd Eye Circle version up album, and in front I have this Aoi Muko figure from You and Me and Her. <coughs> That's one of my favourite visual novels ever, so obviously I had to get the figure. Um, I got really lucky and I got her for, she's around 50 60 pounds when I got her on a, a bid um, and now she goes for like 200 so I got very lucky there but Miyuki is actually my favourite so I obviously want her to match but again I'm not spending 200 pounds on a figure that's like not amazing and also pretty small you know I'm happy with just this representation and then have some Luna photo books this is the two orbit one Orbit 4.0 um, photo book and the record finale um, thing which coincidentally ended up being like one of the final things that they made as Luna and yeah that's that's everything there and underneath and underneath I just have just some storage there this just has a bunch of like posters and s other supplies in there and the BTS book which I'm yet to read and just some albums that I'm selling and yeah that's basically everything oh and also I have this Alco print that came with the uh, limited box set of the game and Espo Karina poster these two Jin and Yoongi hangers a driveway photo card that I made <laughs> but I'm embarrassed I don't look and this um, Hanakawa cliff arm and yeah that's that's basically everything yeah that's everything i hope you enjoyed seeing my collection i had a lot of fun talking about it and yeah i hope it grows even more over the years and i'll see you in the next one bye